There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshit or Hello there, I'm Shadman, the social disease attacking family value and church dynamics till nothing sacred is left. That was not scripted. <laughs> that was, that was I'm here heart. with Chris O'Neill, aka Oni, yep. Spaskit in 3D, also known as Corey, <laughs> and of course, Psychic Pebbles. Hi, you guys. I gotta do Minecraft. Minecraft. I gotta do Minecraft in a corner next oh, month. It's gonna be great. And my favorite, Rice Pirate. Yes. Yes. Hello, Shad. Welcome. Thank you for yeah. being oh, with Shad. us today. Oh, you know what? You know what? My favorite part about you being on here now. What? Um, the next hundred questions asking when there's gonna be a second episode. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I get it, I get By the way, that succulent voice you heard was that of Shadman, as he told you. You can find him at uh, shadbase.com. You know, I, I feel like it's important. The den of debauchery, violent yeah. and sin. Go there. Yeah. He, he has. He has like. He has like a, like all lots of kind of Bible jokes and stuff. It's great. You love. Yeah. It. I think it's important to note that this is the real Shadman. I, I think there's a lot of people who, because of all of the conspiracies and the mystery that veils the Shadman name. Some people may think that, that you may not be the real Shadman. That no, somebody no, could just be... I, I've given up that voice no, and Timothy because yeah. of you guys. Because like it's just been difficult trying to avoid like my yeah. voice being on anything. Like, like whether you stream or something. Yeah, yeah, I've actually yeah, exactly. been streaming like pretty regularly. Yeah, yeah, At yeah. least this month we probably streamed about two times maybe? We, yeah, yeah, we I, I, yeah, but I even switch. despite the streams, despite the fact that they've heard you on your streams and even on some of like the game streams I did yeah. or like whatever, I still got a tweet asking about whether or not you were a girl. Really? No, no, I, yeah. I still get keep people asking that, me that they think you're this hot, like sixteen year old. He is, girl. as you can see. Well, yes. No, you look like a hot sixteen yeah, year old girl, but you're not. You should, one. You should see his double D titties right about <laughs> it. It's, it's been, been a be joke screen. because, like, in the whole like uh, kind of hentai scene and stuff, a lot of artists who are girls, like, they just completely abuse that and like just post <laughs> pictures of oh, themselves yeah, yeah, and, like I'm a girl yeah. like, just do they yeah, artist yeah. girls show off the yeah they show off the fact that they're girls like they draw themselves or they and, show, and they draw themselves or they show well. photos of themselves Both. they draw themselves oh. as their original characters but in real life they're like these like autistic like fat <laughs> like, it's like fuck off you cunt like you know like, I, I'm, I'm a guy and I can be a guy in a hentai artist right but yeah. I, I, I do you think can. it's interesting though. I do feel like guy artists to girl artists, they like, girl artists would draw themselves a lot. I I can't. I honestly can't remember the last time I had to draw. I drew myself, unless it was for like something, like a like a picture or something. I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, how, how many times? How often do you say you draw yourself? Seriously, I don't like drawing myself. How often do you think you do it though? Realistically, never. Exactly. That's weird to me that's that there's not, that big that's difference. Realistic, yeah, because when I draw myself, I usually keep the key factors. Because like, there's also that. The heavyweight. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like face, there's that weird thing where it's like I, either 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 I make myself super unattractive and I'm really mean to myself, and people draw me like that forever, and then I feel worse about myself, <laughs> or, or I just draw myself right down the middle, like not attractive but not bad looking. But the people are like you kind of Disney yourself. You. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, it's if, like if, if you're a big fat guy, you just draw a kind of a bloated guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. The, the, but then yeah. the thing is, when people see, they're like, oh, because you know there are those <laughs> artists out there no, who draw no, themselves my favorite, my, skinny, but they're sorry, big sorry. whales. Zach, my favorite part is when you know someone is like. Let's say 300 pounds overweight, and they draw themselves. It's like an action hero that has a little bit of a baby gun. Well, yeah, it's a guy got a little bit. Gun. But he's like, when you see him in real life, you can like see his skinny face hiding in his fat. It's just like you ever see that? To, yeah. you, ever, you ever really just want to take a fat guy, just rip his fat you off? Know, like, oh, you're a human. When I take, when I see a fat <laughs> person, Goodness gracious. but you see, that's the kind of that's like the neglectful fat where you can like see the skinny person behind the fat. I'm you can see have a real. That. That's like the meanest skeleton. thing you've ever said, and you pushed it off like it was nothing. <laughs> What? The year he gets skinny and he says that. So like you used to be like kind of normal, like averageish, but now that you're skinny, you feel like fatties should all be put no, down, look, huh? Look, yeah. Even when I was a fatty, I disavowed fatties. Listen, fatties, <laughs> go jo go go walk to your death. No, walk I'm two saying, feet and die. I'm all right? saying if you're if you're like a, a fat wreck, <laughs> so to fatties. say, so to say, if you're if you're big or obese, then don't draw yourself as like this like eight pack wearing like 
like, look, strong guy. Like, look, actually draw yourself. Be honest. Be honest. This, be honest. This, yeah. I think this is a good tip through life. If you undersell yourself completely, if you like, if you're way crueler to yourself and expect the worst, if you're kind of fat, you're like, I'm gonna draw myself like a big obese fucking slug this of a man. This mountain of a Yeah, man. then yeah. the people, then there's only going up from there. If you start well, the bottom I think for the, the barrel, most part, whenever we draw up. ourselves, for the most part, I feel like we draw ourselves extremely grotesque. Like, if, if we do it. Because it's accurate. It's true. Yeah, it's accurate. Yeah, it's, we're, all, <laughs> we're all like hideous. While people draw us really nice with like really clean cut faces, I'm drawing myself with the strict know. details of all the nasty zits I grew that day I'm like yeah, yeah like, like, people, fucking get that fucking people know their own flaws the best too that's yeah, true. true. Have you seen Chris's uh, drawing of himself when he gets out of the shower? <laughs> <laughs> that's how he feels. <laughs> He's like big Negro lips. <laughs> Just so you know, Shad's allowed to say that. He's, yeah. He has a pass. He's he's Afro he's Afro American folks. Yeah. Have you? By you're the way, barely, I, you're I, barely passable. You're not barely. Really. You're, you're, like, was, you're like half of Will Smith black. Yeah, Sh- Shad you. was born in the heart of Africa. Can I say, by the way, I love, I love I that word. I came over on a banana boat. <laughs> <laughs> Along with Donkey Kong Shad, and fucking heard, Barrel. Have you ever heard somebody using that word, like, really, like seriously, not, like, uh, not, not ironically, the word Negro in the year 2015? Yeah, that, yeah. We were at an art store today and I I've saw paint that was called Negro. That's the what? Chris. That's the Spanish word. You fucking. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So lots of people still say it, especially artists. I, there's a video I love of Ronald Reagan in the '80s where he was like, "Look at all you fight Negroes." I was like, "Whoa, dude, it's like 1988. You can't say that." In the fucking '60s. But that's the thing. They're, they're saying. But the he was Spanish born in 1911, though. So he's kinda... saying the Spanish word for black. What's the difference? I would say it's weird. Apparently, to my, I heard this. I don't know if this is true. I think I said it on the podcast before. But apparently the word black and negro switched to defensiveness. Yeah. So apparently the word black used to be more offensive. Really? And then so they switched. That's what I know. Maybe I'm a retard. You can correct me and call me a fucking idiot with a brain disorder. White people should be called pink people. Yeah. yeah. Or like or like We're orange people. Or like be- just beige people. Just fucking translucent, veiny fucking... You know, okay, so talking, hold on, talking about drawing yourself, like, you know, and now some people draw themselves and, like, uh, flatter themselves. Yeah. 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 In that vein, have you guys ever noticed, like, so, look, look I, I have no problem with the shape of your body uh-huh. or the look of your face. Everyone is is wonderful and perfect in my eyes. Coming I, from the buff, handsome guy. Shut up. Oh. I, I mean this. I mean this. Oh, dude, but it does fuck? weird me out when I see someone cosplay a character that is usually like, for example, if someone does like Aang from Avatar. What you're and saying? And they're like okay, a forty year old obese what, person. Why are you dressed as Aang? Like that, listen, the funniest there comes to the point where cool. you're just proud of your body, <laughs> and you and you know that you look like a disgusting Aang, but you're going out there to show off you're, your yeah, fucking you're going out there. What, what your fucking water bending powers, and you go up there. Or the, the opposite. Or the opposite. If there's like a big, huge character, and then some skinny ass motherfucker tries to play it. I mean, is the idea that you're just they, taking they just, on? I, I think it's like the character. The character okay. like it has most. nothing to do with actually trying to look like any of these characters. Some people do I mean, that, but like that know, just, and that just Chris and I spotted like Chris and I spotted a guy who was no younger than fifty who was playing Ash Ketchum, and I was like, not even close. <laughs> a big dumpy old man waddling like a goblin <laughs> down, down the halls, haunting him. I saw, I saw Ash Ketchum shrieking like a ghoul. I saw a pro, uh, just a big unfortunate human being. I saw a pro. Uh, Black Goku cosplayer. He actually looked okay. legit like Goku. Yeah, he was pretty ripped too, and he had Go- like Goku powered hair. up to it. She got burned, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it, it looked like he spent a little I too much time. I'm sorry, to my viewers. No, they understand. You know they we're talking, you know we're talking <laughs> they about? It. They saw it coming. You know, what we're talking about like like different colored people and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it'd be easier if we just literally call people literally the exact color that they are? No. No, because then do that for the most part. It's like black. There'd be literally no racism. It's like, like look at that it's orange though, brown it, guy. Isn't it? Isn't it weird though that we kind of stop at <laughs> black and white? That's so, what I'm saying. That's like what I'm you saying. never. You would never be like, oh yeah, the guy was yellow. You would never say that. Like ever. that brownish yellow man ran that way. <laughs> that, 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 that swamp ass <laughs> yellow you, guy. Orange black man. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is that some people have like are a bit colorblind. They see that's they yeah, see different colors. colors. Yeah, they're like they're like that red green guy went that way. It's You'd like, be like, hey yo, did you see that orangish brown guy? You're like, wait, you mean you mean that that tan bronze orange? guy? <laughs> no, 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 no. He was like kind of like you know brownish, kind of like like a like a tree brown. Oh wait, wait, wait you mean like <laughs> that's kind of like a reddish color? Guy. Yeah, it's gonna be like easier to say. Like try to tell police what's going on. And even even if even if you broke people down into like very specific color groups, like yellowish orange, I guarantee. 
what you'd really be doing is just creating more factions oh, of you're people. Just you're just you wouldn't be creating more. like yeah, it, it, there would be more racism because it would be like the orangish yellow people feel like they're being like uh, they're being uh, prejudiced against by the, the fucking the, the, greenish brown people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the slightly whiter black guys will be feel yeah, better yeah. It'll, off. It'll be like next level segregation. Yeah. Yeah. Just giving them more. Look, more the, ammo. We're, yeah, we're, more we're ammo. gonna cause the race wars. More between water between the, between, the, between the donkeys and the. And the <laughs> and like sixteen. Well, okay, hold on, Chris. What color would you be? Um, pink. You I'm, pink? Yeah. I don't no, know. Chris, See, no, I don't no. even give you pink. No, what, Chris, would I, what would I be? Okay, I'd be Chris. whitish, grayish, pink. Okay, yeah. I like, I like a like a little hebe yellow color. A what? A little hebe yellow. Are they yellow? Yeah, yeah. Like phlegm, phlegm yeah, yellow? Like I've been dead for like about an hour. Like I'm not quite in rigor mortis, but I'm just kind of <laughs> dying. I've been dead for a good amount. Corey, you're like, you're like a like a pinkish. You're like a... <laughs> you pink fuck I was thinking color. dried peach. I'd say blushing peach. Blushing oh, peach. you're a blushy boy. You know yeah. Shad, Shad is like... Uh, beige. Maroon ashy, seven. ashy beige. <laughs> What are you? You do yourself. Yellow. Gold. Oh, yellow, yellow. yellow. <laughs> Fucking piss yellow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like you. You drank too much alcohol. You ate hot wings and you didn't drink any water so you're for like a week. Yellow. I'm like kind of like very yellow, orange, yellow. Yeah. I wonder are there any slightly green people? There are. Like who? Turtles. <laughs> Reptilians. Oh yeah. I never course. knew that a turtle was a slightly green person. <laughs> of course, they're slightly brown. Corey, would you be scared if you if you turned into a turtle? What would you do? A teenage mutant ninja. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. exactly. But, like, Corey, just would you turtle. learn kung fu? Corey, you'd, you'd be useless. You'd just be able to draw, but you'd <laughs> yeah. be a turtle. Yeah, but I know I'd run into that fucking hot chick in the yellow suit. April. Yeah, O'Neil? eventually. I'll oh. just pose as a turtle. I'll be the blue turtle. I'll knock. The You'd make a good turtle. Because if you're at a party, I'll be the teal turtle. If you're at a party and you wanted to go home, you could just go in your shell. <laughs> hey Chris, if you yeah. fuck yeah, April O'Neil, April O'Neil, yeah, yeah that's her name. Anything. Yeah, I know. I said if you, I knew if you, she if you would married come. her, she wouldn't have to change her name. I used to have a huge crush on her. Did you really? Mm -hmm. I want to say something. When I was a Ninja Turtle, mm -hmm. if I was a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I would have a white band with a Corey. blue stripe. If you were a turtle, someone push on your back and you fucking die there, Corey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I know Kung Fu and Tubular and all these other you crazy things. You don't learn Kung Fu, you become a turtle, Corey? You know if they flip you, you on your back, Kung you just die. I die. you wouldn't be able to get back up. No, when I'm on my back, I do that spinny, like, stand-up move. Mm. Like Bowser? Mm. Mm. <laughs> like Bowser. Super Smash Bros. is not a fucking documentary, Corey. I hate to be, hate to be the bear bad news. What are you talking about? Not like if you get on your shell, you rock back and forth. If somebody hits you, you'd spin around. If I got my legs down there and did, did a sidekick, I could, I could turtle spin okay. right now. So wait, Corey's a turtle. What are you, Mick? Um, what would you be? Yeah. Why would it be a turtle? What in the, the animal kingdom. In the animal kingdom? Why are we talking about I'd animals? I'd probably be like a... Like I'm a, a rhino like turtle a, then. Like an orangutan. Rhino turtle. You, you, you'd be an or orangutan? Like, a gorilla, like an orangutan. I want to say gorilla, but I'm not buff enough. I feel like I'd be kind of like a little dumpy. You I, can, be, I can imagine you'd be like a cute little snake. In the, it's, it's, you guys it's ever, snake. Do you remember Planet of the Apes? Be a cute yeah. little snake. Do you remember that big thing that was really... He was nice, but his face looks like really smashed in. He has a tiny little bead eyes. He's the really big one that knows math. Is that an orangutan? That's an orangutan. I'd be that. Okay. Chris, what would you be? You'd be a weasel. You'd be a, you'd be a fucking I would not be a weasel. <laughs> I'm kidding. Chris, be... you, Chris, you'd be a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You'd be a rat. <laughs> oh, Chris, don't fuck with me today. You'd be a scratching, fucking annoying. In, re in, rat. in reality, reality bro, you'd be a rat. <laughs> a rat knows how to survive. Yeah, Chris, what would you There's be? There's no shame in that. Hell, you would I'd run be away. a mighty eagle soaring through the air. <laughs> either I, I, I give you <laughs> either a, a, a big monkey. Or a some kind of feline. Could be a, a larger, monkey? like a bobcat. Why Could be a Sasquatch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be an American bald spot eagle. I'd be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. Shad would probably. Oh, shad, what would Shad be? A raptor. He'd be stuck. Yeah, no, I was. I was gonna say Tasmanian devil. Panther. Yeah, Panther. 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 Yeah, Panther. Panther. Right? That like a raptor. What's up, being a guest? How's it? What's it? Is it a nice experience? Are you starstruck being here with the? Yeah, real? What's it like hanging out with the coolest people <laughs> on the block? I, I mean, like I'm. I, Fortunately, I'm comfortable talking with you guys because I've like known you guys for so long now and I've lived with you guys and I I'm just like I don't want to like ruin your podcast comedy or Shed, whatever. That's Shed, why you're I don't want to talk too much. Shed. No, talk. I encourage you to talk more. Talk, talk. We need talk that. your ass off. If you have a story that you would like to say that could take up a good because you, you have a very interesting percentage. life. Let's be honest. You have a very you have a lot of you have you a lot do. of yeah. You know what? Fuck all of our topics. Let Let's talk a little bit about what you're comfortable talking about in terms of your past. Uh, you know, just so people understand, like some 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 of the stuff that uh, yeah. has kind of been the basis of. I've been like dehumanized a lot because yeah. of like my uh, some of my practices I do online. Yeah. 
But uh, we we could go back a, a little and Let's go so back. Can kind of like explain. Yeah. Do you mind talking a little bit about your military experience? Yeah, like, because, that's, that's, that's interesting. I don't think people. Yeah, you also how have about really we cool kind of that. like rewind? Let's, the, rewind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's go back to the plug. beginning. Go back to the beginning. <laughs> baby Shad Man. We're gonna do not that far. Baby Shad Man. The Shadling. Basically, I've never properly learned how to draw. So when I was like younger, and I I've, I've looked up like into a bunch of like, graphic design stuff, and I thought like. You know what would be really cool? If I could make video games. Because I loved video games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just... What what genres, if you don't want me asking? What, what, I, I, I especially love first-person shooters. But, but when you were a kid, when you were first playing. For, like, I loved like, just, like, on the Game Boy, I played, like, all the... My first console was the PlayStation 2. Okay. And I loved, like, Y City. And, like, I just... I, when oh. I discovered video games, I was just fascinated. Dude, yeah. The way Switzerland works with their universities, and their... Like, it, it's a college and university. Like, they kind of split themselves by universities being more specified fields. For example, game design can be learned in a university there. Okay. Yeah. So a college would be kind of for the average, the average Joe kind of guy kind of thing. No, not really. I... I I don't really. I'm not sure. Like I just know that that was a university. Okay, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm ignorant when it comes to like Switzerland's uh, education. But the way Switzerland works is that uh. if you are educated enough, you can do a test there. It's ca- called a Berufsmatura. When you have that, you can do. You can uh, get into university, and the state will pay for most of it. Oh, okay, wow. like a scholarship wow. almost. Okay. Yeah, like they, they just pay for a lot. It's really cheap. Yeah. And I I didn't have that. I was. Completely undereducated, but sometimes they let people in when they think I see potential in this guy, and they let him in anyway. Yeah. So I had like this brilliant. uh, I'm quoting. I'm doing air quotes. You know, you can't see it. But I had this idea. Instead of like, but next to making my portfolio, I also have an online portfolio. So I made this website called uh, Shadbase.com, and I use it as my online portfolio. Yeah. And I kind of I just put up like some of my work I've done like some of my like amateur like digital paintings and stuff, and some of the projects I've been working on, and I gave, sent them in a portfolio, linking uh, s- uh, sending them off to my website. Yeah, they have looked into it and thought like you know we'll give you a chance. We usually don't do this, but we'll give you a chance. You're you, after summer you can start. What does give you a chance mean? Like, you, they, they give you like a. It was, it was like, you know what? This like is a, this is like a support right? call. Yeah, but for like a year? Like, they only give no, you. No, no, no. They, they lot, but but I, I think it means to say, like, they, we're, they, we're, we're, you're the exception here. You're, yeah, you're real I case. didn't have okay. the education you needed to get in there. So they, take, they actually said, we're taking a risk with you. Okay. Because yeah. they didn't have the education. So don't, so don't, so don't, so don't you know, try don't, Yeah, I didn't have any diplomas, anything. Okay. We're going to take a risk with you and let you into the university. And I was ecstatic. Like, I was so fucking happy. I thought, like, I'm actually gonna be something in yeah, life. Like, right. I can actually, I'm, I'm not done. I can actually maybe realize my dream. I can make these video games I yeah. love. And I thought, like, I'm finally gonna be able to be swimming with sharks. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about sharks is, most people know they don't have a neck, so they don't look backwards. <laughs> and they're. Fast, vicious <laughs> yeah. predators, deliberate. That's yeah. what people know. But what they don't know <laughs> is that sharks they get sad too. <laughs> and they get they sharks cry, cry, but you can't but tell. You can't tell because they're, they're the water. <laughs> they're the ocean is a sea of shark tears. It renders <laughs> their tears <laughs> invisible. <laughs> And down there in the deep, it does get lonely. <laughs> so the sharks cry a lot, and that's why the ocean is salty. <laughs> but anyways, God, it, a, a poet right here. It, it's so you left your shark cave to go <laughs> exploring a- anyway, fish. The whole summer went by. I I think I I think I kind of got to know you through there through that. Like yeah, you got to the corn. But I, and I I started to like nine. kind of. I had like kind of started to get the courage to look deep inside like the darkest corners of myself. <laughs> yeah. The corners where I never would have seen myself and I kind of explore those and like see that I have a friend in there. Yeah. yeah. And I kind of to kind of explore that and like do some drawings which were very questionable mor- morally. Mm-hmm. And I thought like, hey, I'll just upload them to this portfolio site I made. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make like an extra you make like an extra category and start uploading a little bit more alternative yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started there. And like after summer, I started there. Like I uh, started the classes. We, did, we were going to learn off like just programming and game design and stuff. Yeah. And 
I get like this weird email. Oh no. And it's like, can you meet us on Friday? <laughs> can you please meet us at this specific address? And I'm like, wait, this address isn't on campus ground. This is like somewhere in Zurich. Like, <laughs> okay. so it's a fucking house. It's like, it's like in Zurich, it was like in Zurich, like some weird building. And I was like, okay. This fucking police station. <laughs> I'll I'm, I'm I'm gonna do that and I thought I, I thought to myself hey maybe this is something to do with every student where it's just <laughs> oh, you thought they, it was, you thought it was part of the whole yeah the whole they, they pick like a, a secret like interview thing to see what what you really want in there because it is a pretty big school was part of you kind of like, and you have like a little afraid was part of you like maybe I, it's because of this dude I, 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 I no no not at all I I I, 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 totally, I was jokingly thinking of that like, really so you're I, like ah I'll, I'll, I'll laugh at the you're, idea you're, that you're like, like, yeah, like, like, happy, that would be like that would be ridiculous and. The school weekend ended Friday, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. And I was waiting there and the professor approaches me and says, Come with me. I'm gonna lead you to the place. And I'm asking like what is this about? I will tell you there. He didn't wanna say anything about it. It was like this the professor was like this bald guy, had no hair and only glasses, like one of those guys. I say, okay. And <laughs> I can do this. He leads me into this building, we go up an elevator oh and God, he, dude. we go into like this secluded room where there's these two really old geezers sitting there <laughs> and another like another one of the professors and i'm like what like, i'm just starting to think what the fuck is this yeah <laughs> why are all these guys here and then they introduced themselves one of them was criminal psychology but one of them was in the justice department <laughs> oh, oh my no. god. And oh. Then god they broke the bomb and said we found some stuff on your website which is highly illegal and we cannot allow you back on the on the campus. Oh well, because you are a menace <laughs> to society. <laughs> you really? said that exactly. Yes. You're a menace yes. to society. They made me sign a thing accepting that, that I you, am. That you're a menace. You yes. Sign it. You, <laughs> you are officially a menace yeah, to you society. Are legally, you are a menace. <laughs> you know, it was like they they call me like this that that like I'm I'm like a, a, a threat. Street rat. But but <laughs> the, street they're like, rat. They're like telling me that to prove that they're nothing but an agents of treachery themselves. Right. By like denying my rights to express myself in my own free time. Yeah. Completely independent. Disconnected from what you from what do. I do in school. It's not like what else also it, look if, if look if they if they found like a fucking like severed head in your bag or something. Yeah, like that, that would but, be different. But 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 I mean, you what people. When they see things specifically, and I, I think this is a small tangent, but I like to go on it. Uh, when people see maybe something like your work, they would think this guy's going to be a psycho or whatever. And it's, it's, I mean, you get that a lot, right? People yes. think, oh God, well, I was terrified to meet I you. I thought you were going to be a I fat thought, idiot. Even, <laughs> yeah, I, I met you in 2010 and I, I talked right. to you and I was like, this guy's really nice. But even before I met you in 2000. Well, you see. 13 or 14, I see, I knew. I knew. Because, uh, not to go with like what you said, like, but. Me, it, it's weird because actually me and Shad actually go way back in other terms. Like we go way back. I didn't even know Shad and he knew me. Like that's how far back mm -hmm. we go. And I was kind of in the same boat with Shad where, you know, I had done a lot of morally unaccepted things back when, when I did Yeah, but the, the criminal department, the, the criminal different. justice yeah. department didn't bring you in and make you sign but, an official document. I, 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 I also wasn't like, oh yeah, let me go to your campus the and the make reason, check out my the reason, the, reason I, the reason I brought up is because I, I think there's a big difference. I... You are the, uh, in the nicest way. You you you're not a harmful person. You would never, like it's 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 art for you. It's disconnected from reality. You know you're not you're not a psycho who would fucking shoot with a theater yeah. or something. When you sneak you're up behind so so a so like throat. look look <laughs> if look if they, they, weirdo murder if, if they if they looked into you and they saw they 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 somehow found something questionable like they found you were trying to meet up with a girl or, you know something like that I would get it but you, it, you know, they're doing their jobs obviously but there's also there's also you should you should they took away your education but anyway going sorry, back I, to I, that I, I, sorry, I, I did the last my, the my point my yeah, point sorry. was that just that that that, that the, the distinction is very very obvious especially with you yeah and what i love i never felt that you, you that you would do a negative thing to a person because of your art what I love is that they, uh, the way they address it too, is like they found yeah. some hidden secret amongst. Yeah, the a, you're like, dude, I uploaded this, yes. you asshole. To a public website that I gave to, to a public the website. But the, the whole thing is also kind of like with my whole appearance and stuff at the time. Like I was a, uh, I was quite into like heavy metal and stuff, and sure. that also was like for people like those, like kind of like conservative art professors, was a kind of a red flag. They're very, very kind of because of society. the whole like satanic themes and like the glorification of violence, such in uh, the shirt I'm wearing, Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. And stuff. Like it just. 
that to people who don't understand it, it raises flags. It's foreign. It's it's completely yeah. it's terrifying to them, especially old the old geezers. Yeah, because they wouldn't get it. They're listening to like the classic blues and jazz, and they come in. And you're like, dude, it's What's Switzerland, the dude. They're just listening to like five CDs of yodeling. <laughs> but anyways, to go back, they told me. You gotta turn yourself in to your local police department. Whoa, wow, really? Yeah, I was like, I was shocked. Like, I was in a like small town in Switzerland. Like, uh, I was there in Zurich, and I, like, I just, I just felt like my world fell apart. Like, yeah. I felt devastated. And then, then they said like, and they also said this really weird thing where they said, "Give us a call in the evening. We just want to make sure you didn't hurt yourself." And they think you're gonna kill yourself or something? And that just insulted me so much. Like I was not gonna give them the satisfaction of like showing them that I was devastated. devastated. Right. right. But obviously I was. But I was just like, yeah, okay, like uh, I get it. And they say, don't come back. Like you're. you're banned. And I asked them like, hey, can I maybe come back next year or something? He's like, no, we don't want you back. You're, you're permanently, permanently banned. Permanently banned. Whoa. And they said the only way we could even consider you to get you back is you go to the psychologist and have like sessions with him and Jesus and like just like. And that would take so long and cost so much money. I was just, and and by the way, all of that for like a baby. They could still decline you after that. They could, so you could go You're through easily like the sanest, chillest guy that I've fucking hung out with. Well, I was saying, like, I think, I, I think people like him, they, they put this stuff out there. But the, it, the pedophiles always try to be the guys who make the, kid, the kid-friendly the kid Minecraft stuff or the fucking, you know, the... Yes. Oh, yeah. It's always, it's always those guys. There is such a huge ratio of like... Of that, especially yeah. online, yeah. where it's like the either I don't want to say just Minecraft, but like there's just a lot of those like, it's an hey guys, game. yeah, or the prank guys or yeah. whatever, where it ends up being like, yeah, they're fucking some thirteen year old kid. But then the guys who draw like people getting decapitated and stuff, they're they're the nicest guys ever. You meet really, if they have you have a beer with them, they're totally fine. There's like there was a Disney animator who like frequently re- released. He was an old Disney animator who did like the old like black and white cartoons, yeah. and he frequently released like mutilation. Like he he sure. released like people getting their art. He like actually cutting their own arms off and really detailed like styles of what it would look like when the body's cut open but he was as normal as possible it's be, look I, I think and Chad I'll let you get back to what you're saying but I, I just, just 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 a small tangent I think you know we've said it before in the podcast so I don't get too redundant or anything but I feel like it is just because it's almost therapeutic it's like here's here's every horrible thought in my head here's every here's the quote unquote worst thoughts and here they are I feel like and now like, I feel better now they're out of my head I feel like that's kind of what this this podcast is yeah. we, we can just sort of yeah. and say horrible stuff absolutely and that's even we, to, to we our... also mean it in a joking way like everything sure. we say even if it's really mean or like it, it hits home it like really upsets you it's like it's I, never I can meant say, to I can be... safely say I can safely say I've never said anything on the podcast that I that I said with to... malicious intent yeah, yeah. I've we never, try to look, not name drop certain people if I look it if I if somebody Sorry. said if somebody said you said this joke and it really hurt my feelings because my whatever I have a personal connection I don't well then and they also should understand that you're kind of like but my, my point is even then know. I'll still feel I'm not gonna feel good if I hurt somebody's feelings but at the same time I never no yeah but they should understand that uh, even if they you're find walking into a minefield the, the big thing exactly. is exactly it, it reminds me it, look it's like. You laugh at you laugh because we for this person, that person, this person. Like maybe you laugh at the black joke we told earlier, or whatever. Yeah, don't be an Indian. But then, giver. but then, but then, when you tell the fat joke, it's like I'm fat. You take it really personally. Yeah, don't it's be like, an Indian giver. It's either give everything or don't give anything at all. Well, that was the whole that, thing that, with South Park. Was like they were talking about like, oh yeah, everybody thinks it's funny until the joke's about you. Yeah. It's, and then all of a sudden they're not funny at all. They're really you offensive. You can literally laugh at ninety eight percent of other people going, oh fucking idiot. Then it gets to you, and you're like, oh, that, I don't, yeah, my feelings are hurt. Don't don't hurt. Like that. So shit. <laughs> Sorry, continue. They on. they story. tell you that you're a menace. They tell you you need psychological help. They tell you that you're not allowed back into school to, to give my re, give myself in. At the Turn yourself right. in and to call them and to call them later to let them know that you didn't commit suicide. Yes. Okay. And so, <laughs> as I usually did, I, I took the train and like I went to the local graveyards to contemplate what just <laughs> happened. I, I I usually did that. Okay. And um, that's therapeutic. And I, I was just thinking, like, I'm gonna have to go home and face my mother. Yeah. I will have to explain this to them. They didn't even know I drew that kind of stuff. Right. And I had to face my parents and explain this to them why I have, I why my life now has Fell no apart. more future. You know, it, Did you, you consider know, lying? Did you consider no, making up not, a story? Not, not even because, not because for a single moment. Was, good man. Was, good man. I was assuming good. in your head. I was assuming in your head it was more like, well, I can't. Because you can't lie to them and say, yeah. oh yeah, because like, you're going to have to, you can't lie about it. That's the same. Well, in my mind, I was more thinking like, what's next? What will I do after, like, can I still, like, Can have... I go, yeah, that, that, that was the top I would, for you. I would do the same thing, though. Like, if I was in a sit- situation where uh, my parents confronted me about what I do, I'd be like, yeah, I do it. Because 
it's what I do. I've done it for years, and I'm not going to change. At that so moment, I'm at that moment, were you thinking that you were done with games? Yeah. Did that? And did all these things start flashing? Because initially, like, it was like, like you got into college, you were going to do your game design. I, I was you definitely were... thinking I'm not going to do anything creative for the rest of my life. You like, thought I'm you were just going to do any? Not for a job. I'm not going to do it. I'm, and I, I told myself I'm going to just quit. I'm going to. You thought you were stop. just going to do like a desk job the rest of your life? Yeah. I was, no, I, I just thought like I'll just come with me. Like I'll just. But I, I did not consider that I would ever do like anything creative. Sure. And I so like I I I called and I said like I explained it to them. I went home and I, I kind of like. How you guys say face the music? Yeah, <laughs> and I reported myself into the police department. No, you didn't. I did. I did. I went there. Spoken like a true I, gentleman. Jesus! I, I confronted them, <laughs> and uh, they set me down in this interrogation room, and they printed out yeah. all this stuff. They hung it up on the wall. All started, your drawings? Yeah, not all of them, but like oh. some of the more extreme ones. They okay. started questioning me, and it was just such a bizarre experience. It's like in a in a dream. Yeah. Like this Kafka and a Kafka yeah, yeah. nightmare. What was, yeah. What was, what, was like, what was the expression on your face at that point? That is literally out of a Kafka oh, it's like story though. My, stern, like because you can't show you gotta still remain the shark. So okay. your steer yeah. your tears are invisible underwater. So you're still not turning back. You could be No neck. No you could be <laughs> never but the you could be out of the water. You're committed though, right? You could be a hammerhead you're committed. shark. You, you said Eagles, a like the most evil sharks in the water, you could have been the hammerhead. They're not the most evil ones. <laughs> no, instead you were a, a white silverback. They're the ones that like fucking. It's a gorilla, Corey. <laughs> yeah. The type of shark. In the but water. so so I. I'm they play car bombs. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Ruin this your credit score. I'm assuming. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something about credit score. You were saying Zach. <laughs> <laughs> can't remember call. I can't remember okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're sitting there in the interrogation room. They've hung up all the art you've done. You're like, yeah, oh, I know. I, I drew I it. I was saying, I'm assuming at this point, you, you're you like, I've already been caught. I might as well just kind of sit here and just do it. Just stick, stick to my yeah, guns. I just like, I just see, like, see, I see what they can give me. How are like, they treating you? They were treated. They were still staying polite, but they obviously were not. They didn't have, like, they didn't have, a, they, they were like, this is like kind of. A scumbag. They thought you were okay. They were trying to say. They were polite. talking down to you. Talking down to me. That's the word. And um, just I, I, they let me off. Like they made me assure them I would delete the website, oh. delete everything, and I had to pay a gratuitous fine. What? Yes. Do you and, mind, wait, do you, you had to pay a fine for drawing? And, yes. What is the ballpark for that? If you don't mind me asking, no, the ballpark for the fine. And uh, before that even happened, like this is this is really stupid. But before that even happened. Before I reported myself in, while I was on the train, like a week earlier, mm. the police took me out, searched me, and found a knife on me, which was larger than I was legally allowed to possess. <laughs> Are you serious? So they also topped it off with like illegal weapon possession. Oh, oh no. Wow. So I was like, okay, like, th this, this is my life now, yeah. you know? And uh, you were asking for the ball ballpark for that. Of the fight, yeah. Ball it's not going to sound large for you. But it was like two thousand eight hundred. That, that is, that a, lot is a lot. But it's like I mean, like it's not like gratuitous large and like. But that's for still unreasonable. At the time, time, yeah. It's unreasonable to pay for what you. Because did. if you can't pay that, then what happens? You go to jail. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I I wouldn't didn't even consider that. But probably okay. probably yeah. maybe like uh, you had to like do some community work. probation or yeah yeah. But I was I for to me at the time was huge. It was like it was a fortune. Yeah, all my money. Like you know, it's like. More like it's just so much fucking money. Yeah. Like I, I never like I was just fucking baffled. At that time, like obviously, I was uh, I was broke. <laughs> everybody looked down to me. Everybody thought. Everybody thought I was this fucking scumbag. What did your parents? Did you lose think? friends over that? I didn't have that many friends to begin with, so I was kind of one of those guys. Okay. More like kind of a you were a lone guy. wolf. And Lone shark. I kind of chose to walk alone a lot of times, uh, but I walked. Yeah, so it's like the green dog. In, in, in America, I mean, in, in Switzerland, army service is mandatory. Okay. So I thought, like, okay, I'll just do my army service now instead of a few years later. I'll just enlist right now and get away from all of this shit. Yeah. So that, that's when I enlisted, and I, I told them I don't even care what you give me, and they give me gave me. Uh, service as an artillery tank man. Whoa. So they took your knife away and they handed you they a handed tank. You, they, handed you a <laughs> <laughs> they handed you a gun and a tank. It's, it was what's, mandatory. What's, what's crazy to me is that Switzerland has such a has mandatory service, but the country is famous for not for being uh, neutral. Is oh yeah, it, yeah. It, it is. It has always been. I don't, I don't know much about uh, Switzerland's history. What was the last war you guys were in? Uh, they defeated Hitler. 
Yeah, they, single-handedly. Hitler wanted to invade us, but they, they couldn't because of the mountains. You because guys, yeah, Switzerland yeah. flexed their arms, and Hitler blushed and turned and ran away. Yeah. The mountains blocked Hitler. He couldn't see over the mountains. Yeah, so he's like, nobody's over there. Yeah. So he's like the other way. <laughs> Are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> and I enlisted in the army, and um, the minimum thing there is um, it's like five months, but you have to do an entire year, but you have to do five months at once. Oh, then you can come back. Like, can, I, can I say right. something also? Yeah. I was also talking to Shad at this point on Skype. I think we were actually like communicating at this point, yeah, we like were. via mouth. At first, when I first met Shad, he was very reserved. Um, he wouldn't talk, talk to me, and I was fine. I typed to you until eventually we came around and we talked. And that's pretty much I talked to Skype. I was going to say I typed to, to Skype to Shad. <laughs> But I, I, type, I type, talk, type, talk. <laughs> it's pure, help. I talk to Shad every day on Skype. Yeah, I could get it. I was just getting tongue tied. And then like one day he's like, I gotta leave for five months. I'll see you later. And I was like, Oh, okay, dude. Good lord. Yeah. Anyways. But basically, with the army, like even though we don't have a war and stuff, they still train them like real soldiers. They right. Do, they make them go through everything. Prepared. Yeah. Like we would actually have a war, and. Like, but the whole like the whole army thing, it really made me look at life differently. How? Because it just your whole world gets taken away from you. Does it put things in perspective? Yes, it does. You know that the citizen speaks of opportunity, and the diplomat he speaks of authority, and or of policy. But uh, the soldier he doesn't talk at all. <laughs> the soldier just acts. Yeah, and uh, that's why. It kind of uh, made me realize that I should I should stop like I should stop trying to think over things and just go for what I really feel like. Like you know, even though I was I thought like my my world fell apart and stuff, like I didn't know what to do. Like, like in the flames of uh, adversity, <laughs> my will was was just forged in you. Yeah, I just had like this new like this iron will that. Just to do what I you want to do. I am not over. Like, I'm not over with this. Do you think a lot of people get that from that experience, or do you feel like it was speci- like kind of specific to you? Should I think we- a lot of people get that because it makes everything else seem a lot easier because you you go through like this really controlled and like just kind of difficult life yeah. uh, in the military that makes stuff in real life seem more like this is not as hard. Like right. I, could, I could do this. Right. It gives you uh, more confidence. That's interesting because they talk about like the mil- uh, the American military has a saying called the I think it's for the army be all you can be, and and a lot of times that is kind of one of the the major um, one of the major benefits they say that people get or one of the things they walk away with is the idea that they have more confidence that they can tackle you know bigger problems they can start that business they can you know handle mm-hmm. handle situations better. That is and, very true. And, but I never thought... I mean, I, I guess you see in the movies... I guess I always thought the opposite was happening, though. I thought it was a breaking down They break you the down, but they build you up again. I oh. see. Hey, I want to know something. Yes, go for it, Chris. When, yeah. when, when you first got back to your house after like that first kind of uh, police talk, like, did you, did you talk to your parents that night? Yes. And, like, what was the reaction? The reaction was more like... Um, were you, like, shitting your pants? Were they like, what the fuck? Or were they like, oh, that's... You see, I, I wasn't shitting my pants because like fear is often born of uncertainty <laughs> yeah and yeah. I was certain mm-hmm. I knew that what was gonna happen I knew they wouldn't like that I knew what I did yeah so I was just more like accepting accepting and more angry at myself that I was so ignorant to like be so free and open online about those kind of things yeah and but uh I ha- obviously, I've, I've, uh, everybody has like a certain respect towards their parents. Right. Yep. But um, it, it also like I also kind of think that in the end, I can stand on my own feet. Like, even if they wouldn't want to accept accept me anymore, I could still somehow survive. So how long was that period after that happened? Like, were you brooding around the place, kind of mopey, or no, no, you I just went I, straight pre- on to the pretty army? fast. Went like it was only a few weeks. Oh, uh, they're pretty sure. fast. I, I have to yeah. ask, right? Yeah. I, 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 I definitely thought you know I, I'm not like a I'm not I'm not a the most patriotic guy but I there, I I consider I've at least thought about joining the military. Do you think it's good character building for a person? I think for you no because you already have like 
I just I don't be, know I just be be general, you like, have for, an excellent character. Like you, but but you I just mean like for, for discipline for people who are uh, maybe like ungrateful or or, or think woe is me. Yes, for yes. those kind of, for, people, those kind of think... for for the oppressed people who like when somebody talks bad about their Tumblr post. I'm talking about like like the, <laughs> like, the, like, the, like the like the yeah like they like need the, some scolding by like if, like if you're like if you're a rich suburban white kid. Whose parents make like a hundred thousand dollars a year, and you cut yourself? Yeah, those they, kids. You think you should definitely go to that yes. right? But I, I even I fantasize about right? just going to like boot camp or something. I don't know why. I've always no. just thought it'd be, it'd be I it wouldn't be fun. I don't think it'd be fun, but I think it'd be. It would. I've, I don't know. I've always had a weird. I, obviously, it's no. No, saying. I know what you're saying because I also have kind of had like it's not really a fantasy, but it's almost like um, a, a weird desire to see what it would be like to be a army yeah. guy for yeah, exactly. one day. I'm saying it's not. It. It's not a given though that you'll make it through. Sixty percent of my platoon was. That's gone what I'm saying. By that's the, that's like what I'm were, saying. Uh, I out. would like to see. Killed, I would, murdered? No, like just they left. They oh, couldn't handle it. They <laughs> couldn't handle it. <laughs> that's they, some hardcore they training. Up the they, they, they couldn't handle it. No, they. they, 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 they that's, broke I think, down but, crying. But I thought you said you have to do it. No, there are there are alternatives. If they if they all are alternatives, if you can't do it, if you're not physically fit, or if you're a drug addict, there are alternatives. Mm. But yeah, that's what I mean, though. I, I would like to see if I could do it. I, I, think, I think that's what I mean. Where did you... Was there a ranking? Like, do you know how well you did? How well you stacked up with everybody else? The thing is, I was not a very good soldier, but I have a very thick skin. I do not let things get to me too easily. So, if they physically really just harass me, that I... I like I'm, I'm broken down and I am physically exhausted. I can just get back up again. Right. And I, I always had a sense of humor about things. Like, I, I, I just don't. If you don't like things get to you, because it's mostly also psychological. Sure. Because they do things like where it's, it's like a Full Metal Jacket. Yeah. Or when you do something wrong, everybody else gets punished. So they. So, hate so they you. hate you. Yeah. 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 It's a group uh, effort. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, one but thing I do kind of... That's the one thing I would like to see is, like, everyone goes in together, right? And everyone gets, like, worn down together, but they all do that's go through it together, too. So you come out with a new kind of family, in a way. That doesn't mean that bullying and stuff does not exist. No, I know that, Oh, too. sure, I'm sure. I mean, I'm but sure also, worse, you're, you're, you're going to get that in, 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 in any human kind of yeah. environment, anyway. Where there's... Especially fucking bunch of alpha males. Yeah, did exactly. you ever? Did you ever get, like, uh, hazed by your group? Did they... Like, did they ever, like, come together to try to, like, do something to you? To ever beat you? No, with I, I was not, uh, I, I kept a very low profile. <laughs> Got it. You, you kind of keep, kept, kept your head down. And it's always your good to see, like, those, the real, like, dorks and, like, just the, they get all the harassment. <laughs> and you can, like, just kind of blend in and be the guy in the background. Playing with their bionicles. So you were, like, thanking gosh <laughs> for all the nerds. No, I, I'm an atheist. I've been an atheist then, and... You don't believe in gosh? No. <laughs> what about the... The heaven and age and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like ancient fairy tales. Like, uh, fairy tales. <laughs> what if, what when if, I was a little kid, I prayed the heck, gosh, I would go to age. <laughs> I was so scared. Age is going to pull you down, he's going to drop. <laughs> age is going to drop your head in. Uh, who is age? W. What? H is going to pull me down? He's going to pull you down to, to double H. Yeah, it's a I triple thought H, H was triple a place. H. Triple H. <laughs> triple H is a freaking wrestler. For gonna play, triple H is going to take you to double it's H. Hunter, it's Jesus, Hunter Helmsley. It's yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Just to kind of get an idea of the yeah. hazing that was going on. Know. Yeah. I'm curious. Was it... Was it, was it One of the officers showed a little bit of weakness. Hmm. He showed a little bit of a... He was kind of a weakling. And okay. when they showed that, they attacked. It's like, like, yeah. like piranhas are like, like a dead piece of meat. Yeah. The, Towards the end, yeah. they went into his barrack. Dragged him out, tied him up with like foil wrapping, a yeah. package wrapping foil. Put him on a little package, uh, like those things, your tr rollies, yeah, like you the trolley, trolley car, yeah, like a trolley, yeah. And started rolling him up to the river. He was there crying, a grown ass man <laughs> crying, red in the face, tears rolling down his face. <laughs> People surrounding him, snapping pictures laughing with probably. their cell phones, yeah. laughing at them. That's so Other mean. officers see it and they join in. They think it's funny. <laughs> they think it's, they don't even protect him. They think it's funny. Because I'm assuming the guy thought they were going to kill him, right? That they were going to push him into the... They said, we, we, now we're going to push him in the river. And someone came, and, and the higher up came up. It's like, okay, we can't do that. This will actually kill him. But they, <laughs> they really wanted to they do it. They were like, oh, come oh, on. Oh, wow. They really, they would have done it. Really? Yes, they would have done it. It's like a bunch of screaming apes. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so scary. That dude, that actually... Wait, they would have killed him? They would have thrown him into the river. That, that yeah, but they would have, like, like, what? Grabbed him? Up? I mean, I don't know what they like, would have done. That's mom mentality. It's worse. 
But yeah, oh like the God. hazing was not very friendly, but that's just part of the experience. Wow, see, that's that sounds worse than the soap or the flagpole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that was a full metal jacket. Dude, moment. yeah, tying a guy down with foil on a trolley and jumping him in the river would fucking kill no, him. No, but the worst part was the humiliation of everyone oh, no, taking of pictures of him crying. So if he did, but up. what if he didn't make any sound? Well, I guess they. That would probably, have, probably got angry and tried to fuck with the boy. They, they probably, probably tried to push him. Stomach and made him cry. <laughs> yeah, and been yeah, this bitch crying after yeah. beating his face is bleeding. No, but he would have. They knew that he would have because he was already showing weakness. Yes, yes, they knew that. They knew that. <sighs> so they psychologically, while they, he was like doing stuff, like they were doing push-ups, him. they're peering at him, looking at him. They're like, "We're gonna get this motherfucker." <laughs> he thinks he's got us. That's great. Okay, go damn ahead. dude. I know you got more <laughs> of the story. You said also like um. Because like you, you still kind of did art there. Like you had. Oh, I did a sketchbook. Yeah, because yeah. like you, I remember you would. Either, I don't know if you like uploaded it to. You showed us, but you uploaded like your. Upload some of it. Yeah, your sketchbook, and it was really sweet. Like, did you Very show bad. people like your art and stuff? Yeah, like uh, I, so it got, kind of got around that I drew, but it was not like it's just kind of a thing that I then. I, for example, I did like the, I designed like the badges of our platoon or I did yeah. like the, the yeah, our should. emblem on the tank and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And it's just like nice little things. There's a tank with your artwork on it? Yeah, like the, they sprayed the emblem. Shit, do you know it. how badass that is? <laughs> There's a tank with your artwork on it. Well, those tanks will never be used to kill So anybody. what? <laughs> it's still cool. Uh, but and like it's not just graffiti, it's like actually supposed to be there. Yeah, that's cool, dude. And in Switzerland they can say that a what was the word you used? A, a menace to society. Yeah, <laughs> drew that picture. Yeah, You're like I'm a menace to society, and I'm fucking decorating your tanks. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> so you were never in a situation where you were going to be tinfoiled and pushed into no, the river. No, I. You, uh, were, you I, were there taking pictures with everybody else. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was not a bully. You were just shaking you, you your were, head. You were, I'm assuming you were trying everything you could to stay out of the picture. I was the same. You were just watching. Picture. You were just watching. Because, like, let's be honest. All of those guys there, they. I would not f uh, form real friendships because oh, they're absolutely. they're completely like in different interest areas sure. than I would ever be. Yeah. I'm just there at a very specific reasons, you know. I, I those like there's like a farmer, there's a guy like there's a guy who does like uh, advertisements. Like everybody comes together, yeah. but. I was just like kind of a I had a too specific mindset to actually form real friendships. Be together. honest, how good of a shot are you? A shot? Oh, I was terrible. I was, I was, cause really? I didn't give a fuck. I was terrible. <laughs> how, how good do you think you could have been if you really applied yourself? I don't think I'm a really good shot. I really don't I, think I so. have a question. Did you say, wait, did you say you had a stencil of your artwork? Yeah. You should have held it in front of the cannon of the tank and then shot it at the private investigators. Yeah. And then turned them into your artwork. <laughs> from afar. <laughs> Splattered their brains all over the tank. <laughs> you could turn them into your art and then they'd live as your art and they'd, they wouldn't be able to call you that anymore. <laughs> it's true. Okay. So when you were a bad shot, would that be like, okay, 15 push-ups, everyone else, because he can't shoot it? There was a certain like, requirement of points you had to uh, Oh, so meet. you just got like a little above the average. Yeah, I just like, you have to be like actually fucking retarded to like not get that requirement. So you you had to be like a fuck. You have to be like shooting the other way. <laughs> there, were, there were people who were fucking weird. Like there was a guy who like would keep, he didn't know where he was pointing his gun. So he like just pointed his gun loaded at the officers without even thinking. You know oh, what they did God. with that guy? Oh my God. After the first few weeks, they said they took his gun away and they made him have uh, like a, What's the duty? Like, what's the, a janitor duty? Yeah. For the rest of the fucking military. Whoa, really? Oh, like, for like no, a year? He missed out on all, everything. He just had to fucking do janitor duty and sit. Well, you can't point a gun at a fucking officer. They fucking condemned him. And he, he looked like a halfway mongoloid. You, like, yes. He looked like really fat and like, just kind of stupid. So he was put in his proper place. But yeah. You can't, you can't actually, like, that's why you hold a gun like this. Yes. You yes. never point a gun at an that officer. That's one of the rules. That that is, you never point a gun at something you don't intend to hit. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, you know, he kind of deserved janitor duty. I'm yeah. a pretty good shot. Are you, Mick? Yeah. I'm a pretty good shot, too. Can you shoot I, a bullet out of no, the air? I'm really bad. I cannot shoot a moving bullet. <laughs> Why? Can you catch air. a bullet with your teeth? Yes. That's because I'm Chinese, though. You got Andy Oakley. <laughs> that's just... That's you just have to aim between his teeth, and they will yeah. get lodged between yeah. the gap, too. If you shoot at my <laughs> eyes as well, my tiny little eye sockets will, we'll will, catch, it? will catch them. Correct. What if I stick it near your temple? What about no, your chopsticks, we'll Jake? <laughs> if I have chopsticks, yeah. I can catch anything. Moving bullet, anything. Anything. Yeah. Okay. What if we were at dinner and I had a potato gun? You never expect that coming. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> And I'm allergic to potatoes, so that would be it. I'd be dead. Sweet. So after, okay. So did you finish your military service? I, I finished all the mandatory stuff. 
like uh, the last training you gotta do is like you go for a week. It's called the Durchhalte Übung. And for a week, you go out with the tanks into the forest, into the wild, and you just survive there without food. But you ha get water, but you have a very minimum, like almost no food. You have to hunt and shit? No. Oh. You just, because you can survive without food easily for a few days. Oh, so they literally like want a fast. to not eat for yes. a few days? Yes. It's like oh, fasting, you, yeah. You, you, to, you get as much water as you want, but you... But you like, have to like do stuff, like exercise and stuff? Because like, that would make it a lot harder. You do the tank stuff, like cleaning the tank, okay. and, like, getting the tank into gear, like shooting it, and you uh, do like uh, guard duty and stuff. Like in the night, you, you there's so little sleep you get because you keep have to get up and yeah. do your rounds as a guard and you yeah. sleep for like an hour and they wake you back up and right. it's fucking great so sleep deprivation See, and without food yeah, that's funny because it's like like you said you haven't done something in years in Switzerland like you, there's been no real uh, no, military no, but thing they really keep and, you and they're like this is like stuff that they probably do here like they prepare you I don't even know if it's like I, I don't know if there's like I think there's like standard military yeah training yeah and that's just like standard protocol yeah, but, but the okay. food is one thing, but the sleep deprivation yeah. is far worse. Yeah, absolutely. That's starvation. That would far absolutely. worse. Absolutely. But like, so if you saw, I think like, you get so tired you don't even think about food. Do you, no, but the, do you, sorry, do you see any like guys like picking up bugs and eating them and shit? No, oh, they talked goodness. about that. They talked tough, like they would do that, but nobody actually got hungry enough have to I, do that. Mm. Have I said like um, the longest I've stayed up before? I don't know if I've talked about this. Oh, I, I, I know what it is, but no, I don't think you've told. Yeah, about the that. longest I've stayed up was four straight days. What, what were you working on, Corey? Uh, I was working on a, on a <laughs> unforgiving flash that will never leave my brain, and I, I I won't I won't speak too much about it. But it starts with an S. Yeah, it ends with anity. Not it, it ends God with damn it. <laughs> and, and let me tell you something that's pretty funny about something called sanity. Okay, because that's what I fucking lost after four days. <laughs> yeah. When you sit there for four days on a cartoon, and this is the first time I ever had energy drink, so I was like. There was just these spots that oh, were yeah. circling my eye, and I was like grabbing them, <laughs> and I couldn't feel my hand. Half the time, my hand was so numb, I couldn't even draw. I had to give my half my work to my other friend because I couldn't draw. Whoa. I was sitting there, there were just spots constantly in my face. I thought I saw like a fucking like little mini shadow guy running around my room, like he was just <laughs> like scurrying around. I, I had no idea what Any I was. Any kind saying. of sleep deprivation, the first thing that I get. Is corner uh, uh, peripheral like uh, spooks? It's, I, yes. I, like I, I, I do, always see things out I, of the corner of my eye. I, I it is actually like being basically schizo. Like you're just looking around. Yeah. You constantly feel like somebody is looking at you, and you're yeah. just like, I I need to sleep. I had a but fall, I can't no. sleep. It was it was I had a fall a hallucination one time. I didn't sleep for like two days because I was working on something. Is, and I was in the shower. Oh my god! I remember looking at the like the crack of the shower where the curtain met the wall. And I was like, wouldn't it be scary if a fucking face appeared right there? And I kept staring at it. I kept thinking about it. I like, got the more scared I got, the more I looked at it, and then I, I, my brain like conjured up a fucking dis like the most terrifying face it could, you and I fucking screamed, like, "Ah, fuck!" <laughs> and I was like, "All right, fuck this man." He got, got in the shower and I went to bed immediately. I was like, "I don't like this." See, so you had to do sleep. Yeah, yeah but this I, is I with a gun in your sleep. hand. Oh my God. Yeah, you're doing guard duty. Did you have guns in your hands when yes, you had guard yeah. duty? What if everyone you, you never, else? You never, you sleep with your gun. You never like leave so you your didn't gun hallucinate. away from I never hallucinated, but the worst part about the sleep deprivation, never. besides like, just feeling absolutely yeah. miserable, was how angry everybody would get. You're yeah. irritable, how right? How irritable. Yeah. yeah. And that was really bad because I'm not an irritable guy. Like, I I just like to keep, like, I don't like to, like, to, to get into shit like that. Yeah. And when they start getting into shit like that, it's like, it just really pisses me off. Like, yeah. It just really, yeah. it really gets to me. What's some sort of stuff that was getting you, like, grinding your gears? Like uh, when when uh, like gr grinding my gear. <laughs> when, when a guy like says like when you have to like check the map like you have to now and every now and then you have to take the what are those things like a, the walkie talkie? Yeah, like it's like a, but it's a really big <laughs> one. It's okay. a really fucking we, we heavy big one. Walkie yeah. talkie. It's like the calm or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and you t you take one so and like you have to like bread. mark on the map the map like coordinates. The coordinates, like, yeah. And like when like the guy you're the guy who's like guarding with you is like, oh, just do it for me. I want to sit down for a moment. I was like, no, man, it's it's your turn. And he gets really pissed off. It's like, no, just do it, do this now. Like it's not that much. Just do it. Like like, dude, it's your turn. Can't you know. Yeah. And he gets really like fucking that. angry. And it's yeah. like, it is start, your fucking turn. Do they start throwing punches and shit? No, not with me. Not with okay. me. We never like I, I never got into like yeah, an physical. fight. But some would actually if. 
if you get into a physical fight, you get like uh, actually they throw you into a military jail. Oh, fuck. really? Oh, so yeah, you try to they have to your own solitary jail. confinement. Yes, yes. Jesus, the hole. Yeah, that was gonna say they put you in the hole. The spit hole. I was never in there. Though. Yeah. Everyone lines up to spit at them. Like, oh, <laughs> find people. We used to have a spit hole in our school. No, really? you did. It's called your asshole. You did. Dude. <laughs> 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 Everyone just lined up and knocked the loogie into your it open not, gaping butthole. It was not my asshole. <laughs> it was. It totally was. We used to have a hole in our school that the teacher would put you in and get tell them to spit on you. <laughs> you need to be sick right now, Chris. Really? Yeah. What if somebody decided not to spit and fucking like barnyard blow shit at you? <laughs> Oh, uh, Chad! <laughs> Chad, come on! Stop interrupting us! Go on, you come on. <laughs> so you on finish. So you finish your service. <laughs> or wait, wait. Did that day end as planned? Like you just. That was your graduation, sir. Your graduation. Yeah, thing? then like the the last thing you do is like do this whole thing where you give back your weapon. Like you you do inventory. Which yeah. Is also, of course, a drag. Yeah. Inventory sucks, but I I would have had to go back every year for another month until I have an entire year. Right. Because I only did a half a year. Hmm. But um, when I went back, the hardship and sorrow gave focus to my life. And I knew I, I gotta do something. I don't wanna like, I don't wanna work in factories. I don't wanna, like I, I wanna do something creative with my life. I still wanna try, and I wanted to retry when I got out, out of the army. So I, after a lot of like applications and like just searching around when I got out, because when you get out you just don't have nothing to do, I found a job at an agency, at this graphic design agency. And I was I was really happy. It's like, okay, let's just be graphic design artists. That sounds pretty neat. And the things they had me do there were yes. like designing like drawing penguins for an iPhone game. Oh my god, I remember <laughs> that dude. And Fucking concept of it you were showing. This is like like the most basic iPhone game. Make Club Penguin? <laughs> no, it was far worse than Swiss. <laughs> but anyway. Hey, I, the Swiss are like the kings of like iPhone games, you they're, know? They're, they're the fucking gays of iPhone <laughs> games. But it was fucking. They're the queens of iPhone actually, games. I think it was <laughs> Finland, actually. Not my bad. It, it, was, it made yeah. me realize if I'm gonna do something creative, I'm gonna have to do it myself because I can't do this. This is fucking torture. Like, this. I, I don't want to live when I keep When did this. we talk about website stuff? It, I remember there was a point before I started like talking, talking to you, we discussed web stuff. Um, it was probably like 2011 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Was that well after all your military no, stuff? That was, like, that was after the military stuff, that was during that graphic design. Oh, okay. And I, I thought like, I'm going to dig back up that old domain name, Shadbase, I had. And turn it into, resurrect it resurrect and turn it into like a web comic site. I thought like fuck it, I'm just gonna try it. Even though I, I don't know how to draw, I'll just fucking do it. Yeah. And I started that like uh, while having that shitty graphic design bullshit. <laughs> and I said like I'm gonna quit that and just get away from Switzerland. Say fuck Switzerland and move to Canada. Just hit like the reset button and just do whatever I can to make this website happen and be able to live off of myself in Canada. There was no plan B. There Only was no plan, plan A. No alternative. Making this work balls or nothing. Yes. All right. I was not like, I was not interested in the possibility of defeat. <laughs> nice. Not at all. And uh, so I did that and like, after like one and a half years in Canada, I, I managed to somehow establish the website. I didn't even know how it happened. And all the online hate and all like, there was so much hatred, like, like just real hatred. Why? Do you know what it was though? That was like the equivalent of like the hazing, where you had to have a thick skin. Yes. I think other people would have given up, or other people would have been run out of town. But this was like your military training. You could take it all day long, and you just kept smiling. What was her hatred? I don't, I don't remember. The hatred. Because of his, because of what it did, the, co the, the content. The content, the stuff. Like, people people thought, I mean, like, the topics-wise. Because, like, I, I, we talked all the time, but, pe like, he was always getting stuff. Like, people no. thought he was a, a murderer. Pedophile. Yeah, murderer. Point, point. Is, but not only the content, it was also because I couldn't draw properly. I was a really yeah, easy yeah, target. Because I, I, I couldn't draw. I, I Proportions admit, like, were but, off. Yeah, or, was, but oh, you've got a much bigger fan base now, and you probably draw the same kind of shit, right? Mm. 
No? Still, still similar, like still, still rooted in the same area. Would you say you've softened up a little bit? Not softened up, but do you think you've changed direction? Do you think you did that and you're like, that's enough, I've done that, I've done I've, that. I've gone less, I've, I've obviously grown up a little bit, so I, I've noticed that I'm a lot less violent than I used to be. Yeah. You know, Shad, I, I, should, I should thank you also, because you kind of like rerooted me back to what I used to do. You know, I should thank you, because <laughs> a lot of people think that I got Cory into drawing porn. No, no, Cory got me into drawing it <laughs> way yeah, back. No, the, the, the truth is, when I first came I'm not gonna I'm not gonna people can go look it up if they want but when I first came to the internet I wasn't one of those people who um, came to upload his AMVs to YouTube and all this like shit I didn't come to play Newgrounds games the first thing I did was to start drawing porn on the internet and I was I didn't know what I was doing I didn't go to any anatomy classes I had no idea what I was doing so I came on I just drew porn but I drew what I wanted to see and since and then I met a friend who kind of like shaped my vulgarity. I, I kind of wanted to, because I, I have been introduced to all this other stuff. And I, I'm, not, I'm the kind of person who, you know, when someone tells me to do something, I do, I do the opposite. Like, they're like, do this. And I'm like, okay, I'll do the opposite. Because it's yeah. like, you want me to do that? I don't give a shit. This is what I want to do. When I see something, I see the potential in the other thing. And that's kind of like where nobody was doing this. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll do it. And then I did it. And then I, I kind of shaped myself. But... I kind of like got back into doing like cartoons and stuff, but in the back of my mind, I was like, I was always like, man, I need to go back to drawing, um, like art. I need to go back to learning how to art because like now I'm like, I'm, I feel like every day I'm learning something new about anatomy. I'm learning something new about colors, lighting. And it's just like, it, it's slowly, I'm feel like I'm shaping. And that's because I was given another opportunity a few years ago, whenever basically like I had, I hit the bottom of the barrel and I'm like, okay, I need to change my life around or I'm gonna have to go live with my parents and possibly hang myself yeah. from doing something like yeah. that. So and now it's like here I am and it's that's mainly because of Shad. But yeah, that's, that's, that's cool, Corey. But also <laughs> <laughs> I also have to say like to the to all like the, kind of the, the the miserable reception, like all the hatred, there's some positive stuff in that because like hatred nourishes you or in my case nourishes me more than praise. It makes me, like, it is like that, that gives me the teeth to bite and tear, you know, like the fists to bludgeon. It is that yeah. which makes me stay angry. You know, And if I stay angry, I stay productive. So, yes, Chris, something sorry. else too is like, if you're getting a lot of hatred, it just make, it inspires you in a way. Yes. Like, well, I know that's what you're saying, but for me, it was, it's, it's not the same as what you're saying. When I first started off on the internet, I was a complete faggot, right? I, yeah. was, I was a horrible I think faggot. everybody was. I was, I was, the biggest, I was the biggest <laughs> faggot ever. I think, right? You have no... no so, I think we should draw excuse. straws on that. <laughs> so, what, what I'm saying is, if you get a lot of hate, everyone's like, you're a faggot. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and, then, much, and then you're not a faggot anymore. Yeah, you grow... You... Like, I feel like I, at this point, anyone could say anything to me, and I would just be like, oh, all right. You know, the internet is a weird place to, like, to, to be... New too, because yeah. you, there, there's a lot of like unspoken rules that you have to learn along the yeah, way. Yeah, you can't get you, pretty. It's pretty much a lot like your place to like. Okay, what you put out there, everyone will see forever. It will be saved forever. Yeah, you pretty much can't be a dick ever on the internet. You have to learn to. Or if you're a dick, you you you, you have to own it. Yeah. You have to own it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You yeah. cannot pedal around stuff. If you're an asshole to someone and someone corners you and says, oh, you're an asshole, and you're like, yeah, I'm an asshole because this is my reasoning. Mm. So it's, it's, it's like in school. Question. If the bullies bully you and you show them that you're vulnerable, they'll keep doing exactly. it and keep doing it even harder. Yeah. yeah. They, they'll have the meanest rage faces to send you to really get you <laughs> fucking blood, blood boiling. And it's like it's not like you could like convert them or anything. Like death is the only lesson they would understand. Exactly. Yeah. Pretty much what it comes down to. It's like the the, the baby rule that you learn <laughs> in school. It's like if but, someone's but the internet you, is so them. different than like rea in, like your your day to day offline life. Because you're interacting with so many people yeah. at that the that same time. That you'll never time. have to see problems. That, you, that right. you think you'll never have to see. Well, not only so so it's exactly that, which means not only are the interactions are not only so much more like in, in terms of quantity, but they they're a lot oftentimes a lot more vicious, uncensored. You know, because they don't think they're going to see you, so so they think they right. can say whatever right. they want. Yeah. So it's like. No matter who you are, or no matter how much experience you have in life dealing with I people, think, like I didn't join the game until I was like thirty, and I wasn't huh. really doing YouTube shit until I was like thirty-one. Huh. But it's like I felt like I, you know, I dealt with a lot in my life, and I felt like I could deal pretty well. But I remember when I first started out too, like there would be a wave of certain criticisms, and even then, like as 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 solid as I thought I was, 
I was it new to that. Right. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, I was trying to justify myself and trying to figure out, yeah. like, uh-huh. trying to you be really like, hey, maybe can't. I can single this person out and be logical with them, and then it'll make sense. No, no, and no. then they just respond with, like, even, you yeah, know, you, whatever. You can't, you can't <clears throat> justify on the internet. It's like, you, you either you either own up, you cannot fake anything, and if you right. do fake something, you own up to fake But something. now, I mean, I feel like in the last couple years, I mean, it didn't take very long. I figured it out pretty quickly, like, this is what this beast yeah. is. But after that, I literally, because I get asked by people who aren't, like, online people sometimes, um, like, oh, well, how do you deal with the criticism? Like, oh, okay, so you know what I did? I did a, a thing for how it should have ended. It was a Lord of the Rings cartoon. Yeah. And if you saw, initially, the dislike-to-like ratio was, like, one-third. Really? I mean, this thing got, like, a million views in a week, <laughs> and, like, one-third of the fucking people hated this thing. <laughs> Why? And they, Because they thought I was pushing the gay agenda... They thought there was all this weirdest. First of all, it's the only cartoon I've ever done that had any kind of. I'm gay sorry, joke. I don't mean to. I don't mean to tread on like a topic like Lord of the Rings, but I find Lord of the Rings to be easy game for game it's jokes. It's huge, and I guess people were saying, "Yeah, we haven't seen this a million times." It's like, well, I haven't, honestly. I, yeah, I, but regardless, the the point being that there was so much hate. But at this point, this was very recently, but let's see, and some people were asking, like, "How do you how do you deal with all these negative?" I saw all those comments because I linked people to it. Like my friends back in Washington, and they're not on—they're not like you know internet people, but they saw the comments, yeah. and they were like, "Oh my god, dude, are you okay?" Like, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, "You have no idea how hilarious." At this point, maybe back if I first made a video, yeah, I'd probably take it to heart. But at this point, every comment that was like, "What the fuck is this bullshit?" or whatever, I. I laughed harder dude, with yeah, every single weird. one of make, them. Make, that, Chris, make, Chris, did, Chris, Chris, Zach are very much like that now too. Yeah, oh, like, I, it, it used to fucking kill me. I, yes. I, I think I don't think it ever. But I, I'm not. I don't like to say it ever bothered me because there, there are definitely those comments that are like well written. There are comments that you're like, man, that hurts. Make it's but, literally like the stuff like I but, give give to Shad. Like I'm like, here, Shad, here's some art, and then he uploads it, and people no, are but just like, like Chris, Chris, flabbergasted Chris, that this is what I, that Chris and I, Chris and I did an improv where. Well, it was like a guy going to a vet with his I dog. I loved that one. That was my right. favorite one where he smashes like, the yeah, dog yeah. or the I thought, I thought it was really funny. And then I, the fact that all the comments, like there were two kinds of comments. It was there was, three. There, was there was one kind of comment that was like, this is funny. The second was like, this isn't funny. And the third one was like, this isn't funny. And also, fuck you for abusing animals. The ones <laughs> where people were like, fuck you, I laughed at those. Yeah. But, but I if I see what... like, you know, to keep it short, I think that the comments you take to heart are the ones that you... Secretly agree with. Oh yeah, you knew from the beginning. Oh, yes, yes. So like, 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 if if somebody like watched uh, like Hellbenders or something, they're like, this is whatever. I'd be like, I, I think it's great. Like, like the the orphanage video, right? That I did. I, I like that. I still think it's a really funny video. It is funny. So so the comments are like, fuck, this is funny. Like, I, I just really don't, I don't care. But the cloud video I did, I was like, this is filth. Mm-hmm. And so even if it was like it was like 98 percent good comments, but the two percent that were like. You think this is funny? I was like, oh no, they see it. They see my insecurities. That, that's what kills you. It's when you're like, those small cracks, those one comments, like a sea of them, Honestly, that point out the one the one insecurity you have. Where, like, this frame is weird. You're like, I thought so too. Oh that, no. That's I don't like, know what you're fuck. talking about. The clown one was good. I like the clown yeah, one I too. I can't stand it. I thought it was Jeff's best voice acting work. Look, 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 look. Chad, you did a great job Thank with all the backgrounds. Jeff did a great job with the voice acting. You did a great job with your voice acting. I did Nick. one line. What? You know, all what I did, did say this. I'm proud, I'm proud of... What did you do? I was your support guy. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck you, brother. I'll even bottle. say I'm, proud, I'm, I'm still proud of the animation for that. I think, I think animation-wise, that, that broke the level. But writing-wise... That was, it's filth. Do you not even remember what I did for that cartoon, you piece of shit? And Chris, too, you fucking I dope. dragged an explosion. Chris, Chris, I Chris added after the screen filter. It. Yes, dude. I shook that camera. <laughs> he added papers when the guy kicks the door in, <laughs> ladies. Is that, wait, is that After Effects, the camera? Yeah. Dude, I remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I made that cartoon. Do you also add a filter on top with After Effects? <laughs> yeah, every, every cartoon I make, I put, yeah, I, put been, I put, like, 0.1% blur just to make it look kind of shitty. And <laughs> noise. Is, fag boy. is that what Harry does with um probably with uh, Dr. B's? Um, How he makes it looks really like I think that's an actual like plug filter. filter. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, it's just to kind of wrap the story up. Yeah, so I, story. After Canada, like uh, I kind of got to talk with Corey again and uh Sooner or later, like Corey said, like why don't you just move to America? Like it was after one and a half years living there and I was like that is a great idea. And and you moved here. Luckily, you're an American citizen. I right? moved here, and luckily, I was not only a Swiss citizen, also an American citizen because of my heritage, and, n- and that's how I got to know all you guys. Got to those bozos, but no, but like 
I also have to say that like getting to know like Corey and like and you guys stuff online that added a lot to like my whole confidence of like I'm not completely insane. You know, it's like I'm not I'm not a complete. Well, idiot. you are, but you're insane with us. Also, yeah, yeah. Things. yeah, you're insane. You're good insane. You're, you're good company. What you're insane? Yeah, I'm yeah. Not insane. <laughs> if if those yeah, if please. if the criminal <laughs> justice department guys saw some of the work that like Stamper they would have or, or some of these guys done, would they have? Do you think they would have? Corey definitely, but I, I would have been condemned to the army. Corey, I don't think I've ever delved too far into anything. No, it's maybe too... only like some of the Nazi jokes. The yeah. Europeans really don't like that. <laughs> oh. the so Chris would have been <laughs> fucked. No, um, Europeans don't mind it. Um, Germans, Germans don't like it. Switzerland is a little. Bit I, feel like right were, I feel like the countries I feel like the countries that were kind of really fucked by Germany, like like, like if you walked into Poland, you're like, ah, I'm a Nazi. I don't think they'd like it that much. Yeah, no. I feel like, but like there's, there's a couple a lot, It gets a lot from Germany because so, it's right next to. So it. I would be in like the same France situation as you. I think Corey a lot. Of, yeah, a lot of you stuff you did. If see, if Zach was, did I tell you we like we like share these bonds. Yeah, like much more sure. <laughs> if like Zach got caught at the train station <laughs> with um his Hitler youth knife, <laughs> is that a cool would, would they like? He would make a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> in Nazi prison. <laughs> You're Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> No, but but anyways, yeah. Well, you're not insane. And here you are now. And what better place to be? What better? Well, no, really, what better place to be? I love you guys. Like, yeah. I, I, seriously, you're all really. I have to really say, when Chad, when you moved here, the great thing about Chad is he's one of those guys. You, you don't have to talk to him every day. We never, we didn't talk every day when we lived together. We don't live together anymore. But we, we didn't talk every day. But every once in a while, like every probably twice a week, maybe once a week sometimes, I'd walk down to get a glass of water, and Chad would cross me. And we were just we were just so conversing. We'd have a four hours have passed. We it's, it, I, I'd feel these. enlightened afterwards. Like uh, he 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 shares me his views of like the Cold War and stuff, and I thought like that's actually really enlightening. And I go back and watch a documentary and link me. Yeah, it would be like, great. I don't know. Yeah. I just I, it was very fruitful. I never it never felt uh, like we were just kind Forced of or like never felt contrived. It was like oh yeah, yeah. I never felt like small talk. It was yeah. always. Very, you know, it was it was very fruitful. It was like we both. That, that's the how end. people should interact. Exactly. Like you know, like when you're in your life, like you gotta cut out all the noise. Like you gotta yeah, cut, cut out the fat all, off. Cut the fat off. Like yep. the distractions, the noise, the the people who who like you don't feel like interacting with them because something's weird there. Yeah. Like, nothing fruitful. Well, the thing is too, there. you know, you're one of the few guys that when a conversation's winding down, you, you know it, and it's a very mutual thing. There are some people who you can talk to who. Don't get like they don't kind of get the feeling. Oh like, my god! You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna drop any names, but yeah, there's definitely certain people where certain people they don't. They don't it's they, like you're literally walking out of the room. You're in. You're in a different room. You are up the stairs, and, and you can hear them. Talking. You can hear like them standing here talking to you like you're right there. <laughs> exactly. Like they're continuing the conversation. Know. I don't know how I, I know what you're talking about. And it's people. and it, it's kind of. It's not like it's baffling. You, it, it's you, just baffling. You're like, you're like, you it's just baffling. Yeah. You don't get basic human like. Yeah. It, that, but no, it's like it was. It was always really so. It was like a, a conversation with you and I never had to be a certain amount of time. You know? No, it, it, no, it could have been just <laughs> an hour, five, minutes. five, five, yeah, five minutes, four hours doesn't yeah. matter. You see, for me, me I mean, coming for Christ's sake, with a with a fucking power, what are we doing? Yeah. We, oh, that was pretty <laughs> funny. Though. That was pretty funny. Oh my god. Wait, what happened? Crazy. I'd like I'd love for you to tell this story. You don't have to drop any names, but I think this is uh, okay, like different okay. stories. Wait, 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 okay, basically the power, <laughs> the power went out and nobody else was home. Okay. But like Zach and me and some other guy. And um we, we were we were talking we there in the living room. Literally. We put some candles up everywhere and we were talking about like ghost stories. Like, like we were talking about like things like just kind of the the hidden fears in the back of people's minds. Yeah. yeah. And um, I brought up like what, per- what person inquired like what's the scariest thing that you know? yeah like what's what's what terrifies you the most? <laughs> and I brought up a fictional story about a certain stick man <laughs> I've seen all throughout my youth and kept having reoccurring dreams of him. And <laughs> I've seen him. I may. I, I could have sworn I've seen him in real life as well. And it all blends together with childhood memories and like, like just the ghost of my past. Yeah. He's bullshitting and this with the straightest face you've ever seen. Like he has. He, Zach so, wasn't even sure if I was telling the truth. Yeah. I was. I was like. I was pretty fifty fifty. I was like fifty one forty nine. I was like. I was like. I'm pretty sure he's fucking with me. But I can't tell because he pulled. He had like. He somehow. Bubbled up this genuine like fear in his eyes and put it right there. And I was like, man, and by candlelight too. Yeah, 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 yeah. The other person got like really petrified, kind of, kind of petrified, and like asked me to like draw it and like 
And then, uh... Did you just draw a stick yeah, figure? Yeah, 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 I, I literally <laughs> just drew a fucking stick figure! And the person almost started crying! <laughs> I'm not making this up well right up. There. Yeah, no, the actual, like, uneasy breathing and shit. Was like, yeah, they almost started crying, it's like, it's like, oh my god, guys. Oh my god. And I was, like, looking at Zach, and it's like, is, is this real? Like, is this a fucking hallucination from my past right now? <laughs> Just this, like, uh, stick, yeah, stick, stick man. Like, it was, it was speaking, <laughs> speaking of um, of uh, of pranking people, Shad, you are a master prankster. Some people, some people wouldn't necessarily think that, but I think it's because of this honesty that you're I, talking about that he can bubble up, like he can just bring it right to the surface. He can hone it in, I, and you never know if he's telling the I'd truth like, or not. I'd like, I'd like to say this about Chad. I, 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 don't, I, I definitely don't want to like, you know, overwhelm you with like compliments or anything, but I, everything we say is genuine, right? I feel like the best thing about you is you, you smell bullshit very quickly, and you very, you're, very, you're like a hound. You, you tear it apart like a dog like, that isn't even for days. It's more so fun for, to con- confront it. Exactly, but it some, sometimes it. you'll just fuck with people. You'll let him fuck them, just kind of poke them, just to see... See the reaction. There's, there's that old quote, I can't remember who it's by, but it's kind of like... You know, if you stick a sword in somebody and it's soft, you stick all the way through. If it's, if it's hard, you pull back. It's kind of, I feel like that's what you do a little bit. <laughs> like, for example, when you first, when Al first moved into the house, do you remember what you said to him that traumatized him? Oh, when I said... You, you can't, you can't, you can't really you, walked in. You can't be an animator because you look too fit? No, 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 it wasn't that. <laughs> Shad walked in denial on the couch and he's like, I, I don't think you'll make it to the winter. And he walked out. Oh, and that oh, that oh, fucking yeah. traumatized oh, Niall. Yeah. He was like destroyed by that. <laughs> you carry like loaded bullets. Yeah. Even yeah. Having, like like conversations. <laughs> no, but, but Niall has proved himself to be right. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, yeah. so you kind of, you, you, then you gauge where people react and you, then you kind of gr- like get some kind of footy. I don't think you'll make it through the like, winter. Do you know what this it is was, like? It was like September no, no, too. No, no. Do you know what this is like? Because think of it this way. Niall was probably a really big fan of you because he's like a big fan of your art. And then you come in. You're like a you're like a wise old man in like a cave. And then this guy who's been trying to meet you for years. You're like he's like. He sits down, he's like really excited, and you see him, you're like, you will die. <laughs> and then you leave. And that's it. That's it. Like he's just like, I just, I just love how you like, you mean it was like a like a like a fly, like you'll you'll drop up in the winter like the rest of them, like an insect. And then you go in the other room and you just sit there laughing because like, he doesn't think he actually thinks you're serious. But isn't it more like interesting to actually kind of get genuine emotions out of people to get past like their fakeness? Yeah, no no, just cut right to it. Just yeah. cut to the bone. Because and then see uh, yeah, yeah. Th- then you can like kinda see what they're really about. What they're made out of. Yeah. Their fakeness. That's no, true, yeah. a lot of people like they—they're not going to be honest with you. They'll build—they'll build up a wall to try and try and create their um, like they'll have this facade, and then yeah. they, it's because they want to look better than what they really are. But then I—I I think that, that makes you look more pathetic though, because once you—it does. If you, it's like a house of cards. You tap it with your finger, and it explodes down. You Everyone know what? Once you know someone's have a, has a facade, it's almost as ridiculous as somebody holding like a cardboard cutout of themselves yeah. in front of them. Yeah, like but they're like walking around, like this is me, this is me, and it's like fucking ripping you're trying to look around. That's not reserved to like single people. That's like everybody is like a performer. And then whatever they are, second. Like a doctor is a performer first, and a doctor second because he looks exactly like a doctor should be. He talks like a doctor should yep. be. He's a doctor. Yep. Like he wants to show society, I'm a doctor. So he purposely behaves a certain way. Yes. You wouldn't yes. want a doctor to walk in like drunk off his ass, like smashing beer bottles, being like, "Let's do this operation." I just mean like, I, I think he means like if a doctor's like, "Yo, you check out the new Family Values thing." Yeah, he like, would You're not a doctor. That's what I'm saying. That's like. That. That. He'd walk and be like, so anyways, the, uh, the age is killing you? You also, you also wouldn't want it, like, yeah, it's always portrayed in, like, cartoons yeah. like this, but you also wouldn't want a doctor coming in cracking jokes at something horrible. Yeah. Like, if, if he was like, hey, you got, a, you got a brain tumor, but guess what? You know... Your brain's gonna be twice as big now! Yeah, yeah. it's like, you probably win an Academy Award being the, yeah. the smartest guy ever. It's like, I have a fucking brain tumor, dude. It's like, I don't care about your comedy fucking routine. But, like, let, let's say, take a Chris, for example. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. you'd expect him to, like, behave a certain way like for example a guy would have to behave that he has like a million subscribers or something he would be kind of stuck up about it or kind of posh about it or just have like a certain he would have he'd be like a, one of those youtubers he would carry that's what you would expect him to be like because he would have to put on that <laughs> act to meet that standard but he's, he's like not. what you'd have a strap with your like million like gold thing on your back you'd be carrying it everywhere you go you, <laughs> just, for, just for the occasion you just have a tattoo that says like one mil like one mil with the white tee logo I, I don't want to be name calling but there are people who are oh, like there that there are genuinely people yeah, that, I've seen so many videos where it's like yeah got my million subscriber plaque I'm or they hang, like I'm they gonna s- hang it in the wall yeah yeah they, they, they subtly like 
hey, YouTube, it's like right there. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, okay. Even like people I consider my friends at some point. Like, oh, yeah. They have this certain attitude about them, like, where because they reach certain things and it's kind of, it's sickening. Like, yeah, it really it, is. It, it's like you, you look at them and instead of seeing something enlightening about their life, they're just like, yeah, I did it. And yeah. it's like their avatar is that icon. You're just like, oh, okay. It goes I'm to glad show. that's the most important part. It's such part. an easy way to spot, like, uh, like a vain piece of shit yeah. almost yeah, yeah. just when they do that stuff <laughs> Zach when you got your 100,000 subscriber plaque you hung it on your desk and yeah, you were showing you, up we went out to eat you'd be like a oh, winner Tristan he got that you signed, signed it and you put it on your yeah, own you, desk you, yeah you and then he got that by. gold chain and he like wrapped it around his neck like a oh, big we, bling oh, and it was just, just like the right. fucking <laughs> plaque around his chest <laughs> you I walked to do bar I was like 100k baby show me up titties I always I just you just yell to me I owe it. <laughs> yeah. You sure? <laughs> You've like I'm I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> It's yeah, kind of, I, I got a funny story about one of my plaques. Right yeah, my mom, uh, well. my mom hung the first one in the house in Ireland, and I left oh, it there man. because just like I'm not gonna bring it. It's just stupid. Anyway, she she hung it on the wall. So every time her friends come over, she like brags about it. Yeah, and then and then when her friends go home and watch the videos, then they, <laughs> oh, yeah. then she gets embarrassed about it. <laughs> and she never knows That's when to stop. Awesome. <laughs> No. Chris, you what's should... what what's the one video that your your, your parents like, oh, they, you, you don't have to watch? I had a an, like a half a year long falling out with them over. No, no, but, but, but I'm saying what's what's a video all your YouTube? Yeah, what's the out? video? Was it's, it the was super it... slumber party? Oh, because of the jacking oh, yeah, off yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Jacking off, pissing in someone's head. Uh, the pissing bothered them. Well, yeah. I mean, you went to a school where they had a spit hole and they played Come <laughs> that on the was a Biscuit. Joke, obviously. <laughs> but, um, no, a super slum. Oh, you know what? A lot of my videos, um, it's weird. So I, I, I started off not that bad and I gradually get worse. So every time I make a new video, they're just like, yep, yeah, that's about expected by now. So at first they were kind of like. You're lowering the bar for your parents. The, they, they... the more horrible I get, the less they seem to care. I think the last thing I showed my parents was the music video. I don't think I showed them anything else before that or forward of him. I don't, you know what, I stop showing my videos to anyone who doesn't watch online videos. Yeah, it's yeah. about Because idea. anytime it's you hard do, to get to. the you only thing you get is a, a blank stare. Or, oh, that's cool. Or like, oh, that's, have you, that's have, have, you ever had, have you ever had to describe what you do to somebody who's completely 100% attached? What, what do you use? What, what, what do you call yourself? Just say, I, I'm a con you say, I say, if you say you're an animator, Content opens, creator. Right, I say I'm a content yeah. creator. I'm a creative okay, content okay, creator. Okay, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play the guy, okay? I'll play like a doctor. This is going to go horribly. What do you do? Um, I'm a I'm an online creative content creator. Oh, what do you do then? What do you mean? What does that mean? Oh, it's a number of things. It's voice acting or drawing uh, certain cartoons. Well, you draw so, so you so you like you work on The Simpsons? <laughs> yeah, no, not The Simpsons. It's more like those you know, like those little viral videos that are a couple minutes What's long. A viral? Yeah, they're like these short little internet videos that get shared among like on Twitter internet? and social media. Twitter? Yeah. Yeah, the internet. It's like this. It's this uh, conglomerate of. Um, conglomerate. What is this guy? <laughs> fucking internet. The goddamn <laughs> internet. Conglomerate. It's like what's. <laughs> Zach, I don't even get into that. I just tell them. Like, I, I'm I really had somebody. I actually right? had somebody Whatever. say to me, "Oh, it's like The Simpsons." And I just went, "Yeah, yeah." I the easiest the answer really is graphic design. And they're like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. No, no, but, but you can no also, one wants to hear about your. You logos. can just say you're a janitor, and they'll be okay, and they'll be not interested because that's you're true. just some fucking. Yeah, you know what? Guy. I hate talking about my fucking yeah, job. That, that, that's what I do. I say, yeah, yeah. I say I'm unemployed. <laughs> or that, or every time, like I when say, I, I simply kill myself. I feel like when, I feel like you're, you're looking at a dead man. When, when you get your fucking haircut. It's always like you have to spark a conversation. They always gotta fucking talk to you. They're, they come in, you get your haircut, and the first thing they say is like, "So what do you do?" And I'm like, "I fuck little, little girls." I fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <girls. laughs> little girls. Part time. Sorry. Professional <laughs> YouTuber <laughs> who does Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a like, professional. Let's play Minecraft. <laughs> I'm a professional streamer. Full full time Minecraft or part time pedophile? Hey baby. I have a question, <laughs> and this is genuine. Like I, I, I genuinely have a question. Do you feel awkward when somebody, um, <laughs> not farts, but when somebody asks you, like, a question, like, it's like a question you, you really don't care about? Like, I went into the sports bar, right? Okay. Or, or a sports cut place where you get your hair cut. Yeah. And the first thing, since it's a sports place, they were like, so you like sports? And then you can't be like, oh, I like, um, uh, uh soccer. And then you're like, what's your favorite team? Or like, yeah. or I like football. And like, what's your favorite team? And you're just like... You know, I watch it. They know you're bullshitting it. Yeah. But do you I, ever feel weird whenever someone, no. like, you have to know what sports are, you have to care Man, about I, sports I've never, a little I've bit? Nev I've never have I, like, been interested in any sport. I've, take, I've done a lot of sports, and I, look, if I had to choose between, like, watching football or playing football, I'd rather just... To me, to me, honestly, you know what it's like, and I, I, I have nothing... 
I don't mean this in like a pretentious fucking like, oh, look at you kind of way, but to me, sports are like the average person's let's play. Yeah. It's like, I could rather play a video game or watch somebody play a video game. I could either play sports or watch somebody play sports. That's true. That's, that's what it's well, like that, Actually, Shad and I, we were talking about that, weren't we? we were, I thought we were talking about like... And again, I should I should say, I don't look down at it, but that's that's what I always viewed that's it as. That's a really good way to put it, because it basically is a game, but yeah. it's like, you're watching it, and it's... Right. Like, no, I think that was, the, that was the likening of it. It was like, you know, oh, there's this stigma about, you know, watching people play a game, but it's like... You know, you're watching people play soccer somewhere else yeah. halfway across the world. You're not fucking playing soccer. And you, 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 you did nothing to do. You, all you you're do watching. Watch it's for visual stimulation. It's also for like, you know, the stakes are high or you see a cool moment oh, yeah, yeah. or you catch like that I thing will that say, happens. Genuinely, though, I do like watching hockey occasionally because I like seeing them throw down and beat the shit out of each other whenever like, they get the chance. Yeah. Like, that is very enjoyable. It's like watching like ice wrestling. It's interesting. Like, ice wrestling? Yeah, what the yeah. fuck is ice wrestling for? You open the camera. Ice wrestling? <laughs> The like guy wrestling a chunk of ice, no, no. <laughs> slipping out of his hand. No, it's like <laughs> it's like they play the game, and then they just throw the gloves off. The gloves are off. They're going in for fucking punches oh, and yeah. shit. And it's just it's it's like okay, how about um, what what is it MMA or whatever? Yeah, uh-huh. it's mixed like, martial arts. It's like ice MMA or whatever, where it's like they come in fucking punching, boxing. You know what 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 are these sports? Have you ever seen? There's like you could Google it, but like the worst hockey accidents. No. And some of them are fucking terrible. I don't yeah. know if I guys getting like their necks cut by yeah. like um, skates and yeah. stuff. Jesus. What was that? What was that ice skater? There was name? that one where they literally he had to like he got his neck slit and oh. like you could see it like arterial spray like. Oh, and died? they had to like no he had to like hold his neck shut oh, and they sick. like got people to come in and they actually fixed his neck up. But he has like this entire line going across Jeez, his neck. What was, the, what was the name of that ice skater lady? That, that's why fucking cool. legs hit with a <laughs> hyper like Oh, that was a, was that was that Nancy Kerrigan or yeah 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 yeah. I got her fucking legs beat with a pipe and she put. What did she say? Again? Oh, she said that's something. so sad. Yeah, it's because well, she wanted. That yeah. was the Olympics. I yeah, think. yeah. What, 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 did she, what did she say? I forgot what she said. That's she the, like I, I hate that video. That, that video makes me sad every time I see it. It's not funny. It, it's just sad because she she didn't yeah. deserve it, did she? Well, some, no, she, she was asking for it though. No, that, she was. The, yeah. What? I, oh yeah. I thought there was some. I thought it was like the she like she like broke the leg or broke the legs of her competitors. Or her competitor. I thought someone ran up to her and broke her legs. Yeah. Oh, because she didn't want they didn't want her to win or something. Yeah, yeah. I forget. Anyways, you know, uh, I, I, have we talked about this before? Where duh, where duh. sport was that? S P O R T Z. Yeah. What is that? So sports? Spart. When you have a sport and this like, is sporta. I, I don't mind it when people <laughs> watch sports and they're like casual about it and they're just looking at it and it's like, oh, okay, that's good. That person won. I like that. And, but. Do you think it's kind of like really horrible when people get obsessed with watching sports as if it's, no, it's no like, and then they have a riot as, yeah. and burn down their entire city? Like either if they win wh- or lose, why, they'll do it. Why are they so obsessed with it like that? Because look, you, we all, everybody in this room has something. And probably the people listening to the, if you're a person who listens to a podcast, chances are you're not probably that, that kind of sports person. Maybe you are. I don't know. But we all have other stimulation in different ways, right? Like you'll watch a TV, you watch Breaking Bad or something. We have obsessions and stuff like that. But that's all they have. But to me, like that's all they 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 they, they take every obsession and interest you have and yeah. follow it to do one thing. But to me, thing. like one of the worst kinds of people. I'm not just like fucking like tipping a car over no, because no. it's like a religion. Guy a it's like religion for some people. It's a way to connect with other yeah. people. It's yeah. a way to but be it's a community. part of something. It's community. There's these it. like absolutely just wastes of space who get so obsessed and they're like talking about it like. Like, they, they talk about the sport and the team as if, like, they're managing them. Like, they're on it, yeah. And it's like, dude, you need to fucking just kill yourself. You're, you're just, you're not ad- contributing. Um, I'm sorry. I think you see that all over the place. You see it with, like, <laughs> fans of Markiplier or PewDiePie. That's what I'm saying. No, where there are people who feel like they're, like, their best friends or something when clearly, oh, you know, my, they... My, my, that's my point. Is like, it, everybody does that to a certain degree. Yeah, I don't mind people casually watching it or whatever, but like people get absolutely like I find absolutely it, violent. Over I find it, it. funny yeah. that there's like next level stuff. Like it, it also is in the same vein as Let's Players, where there's like fan leagues where they create like right. fan oh, yeah. the fan team. It would be like if, I like, mean people people have a person in Elvis to something. No, no, no exactly. But it's like it's the same. Yeah, we are, we are. It's the same concept. Yeah, you and I had like uh, I, you, you were. Kind of involved with the, with this impersonator. I had a deviant dart a couple years ago. You yes, know? yes. Yeah, do you remember this? Yeah, is this the guy that. who created the alt account of you? This is a guy who called. He didn't even use my username, which is the bizarre part. He you used Shad's. He was a variation of Shad's username. Well, like like a weird. His name was the Shade thought, Man. He thought your name was Shade. <laughs> 
I know. He I, thought you spelt it wrong. He, yeah, so his name was Shade Man. But he, so but he, he knew would, better. So what he, this, he what, this, right. what this guy would do is he would he would pause frames of my video, pause videos of mine, tr bring these over to Photoshop or Flash or whatever, trace these, but he wouldn't even trace it well. He would trace it badly and then like... Uh, Take his own liberties with Yeah, right. So for example, I think he like took one character and he just took the hair off. Yeah, yeah. He just made one of the characters bald. He knew better. Yeah, yeah. No, he was like, yeah, fuck it. It'll be doing better. But so this kid was probably 13, 14, and he comes up to shave me and said it was me. And so he'd be like, hey, new video or whatever. Like, what? <laughs> but the bizarre part was when I scrolled through the comments and I found this person. I can't remember. This was two years ago, I think. I found this person who said, like, I love you. And I was like, oh, no. I looked into this thing. This, 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 this 14 year old boy. Was pretending to be me with Sha a variation of Shad's username, <laughs> and he was romantically involved with like a thirteen-year-old who thought she was dating me. And I forced this kid. Oh I was like, I was like, look, you, I was like, look, you idiot. Say I'm not a fucking like. Say you're not me, you moron. <laughs> he was like, he was like, but I am you. Oh. I was like, you lunatic! What are you talking about? Like I was like, I was on my personal account. Like, it's not me, you fucking goon. It's fucking Bugs Bunny, like. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He's trying to Dappy Duck me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am you. I am you. I'm not you. I guess I'm not you. Eventually, he did like he had. He the... fucked up eventually, but he, but then the girl was still like, I still love you. I was like, oh, okay. I'm, yeah, you can leave. Fine. Then they yeah, can go fine. after go, go, weird go have your, affair. Go have your twelve-year-old affair somewhere else. Leave <laughs> me the fuck out of it. All right, I, I just want to say, people have constantly. Like asked us. I know this may seem like off the wall, but people have constantly asked, "What is your biggest fear?" Okay. I don't want to tell people my biggest fear. Yeah. Because I don't want to tell. I don't want to put this on the internet right. and have a bunch of douchebags sending me pictures of my biggest fear. Right. And make me piss my pants. You'd be like, dude, I have a great my biggest fear. Yeah, honestly, you, you guys want to know? Deathly, my deathly fear? afraid of eels, and we joke about it. Yeah. And then somebody sends you a box of yeah, eels. Yeah. And then I come on Twitter and I get ninety pictures of fucking yeah. eels, and I'm like, oh, I didn't see this one coming. This was yeah. not. This well goes back out. to something Zach said a long time ago, which I don't like to agree with. Shad probably does agree. Chris may agree as well. Mm -hmm. I don't want to believe in it. But that is, if you show people weakness, they will exploit that everyone it. will exploit it and pounce on it. A now, I fucking yeah, I agree with that. want I to look, believe look, look, that that look. is not inherently true. I would love if everybody alive was warm and gooey. You said, "Hey guys, I really, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of uh, uh, birds. Please let's." And, they, they, and, and everybody and was like, "Oh, I support you," but everyone's gonna send you a big gonna, fucking veiny bald eagle. Okay, yeah, okay. they're gonna send you the scary. They're, they're, they're gonna, gonna release birds. a fucking dozen <laughs> doves on you. They're gonna find you. They're gonna send fucking, you videos of birds. But do you think they're gonna open your window? <laughs> but do you think that's because do you think that's because of the audience that you have garnered? Well, no. no, it's just the internet. No, it's human being. No, human it's not nature. even the internet. Dude, the internet was man made. It's not like this evil thing that yes. the humans made the internet. Humans it's are pieces of shit. It's, it's like your friend. 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 It's exactly like if you had a friend who's like, I, I, I'm really. Uh, afraid of heights, okay? And so you fuck with him one day. He's asleep, and you put his bed at the edge of, of like something really high, and then you and then you fucking put an air horn to his face, and then you show and you're like holding him so he sees it. So he wakes up, he pisses himself. It's just human nature. It's like you you know the best way to get somebody is like to get their biggest fear. But see, I would I, do I the opposite. I, I would I would take his bed and I would put it in a beautiful forest and I would cook him breakfast and I'd tap him on the head and say, hey sleepyhead. Well, he was still screwed eat. because you're he's not a forest. That's true. He's you're coming fucking set of piece of shit. You're not a real friend if you don't push him off the top of a building. Alright guys, well we gotta wrap this up. It's getting a little bit late. Shad, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your uh, <laughs> Unbelievable story, yeah. uh, dude! I had no idea about all the details of that. That is <laughs> literally amazing. No that is actually you said in you said before that it was kind of Kafkian. That is a very, very bizarre Kafkian story that that you told. Um, but again, thank you so much. I really hope that we have you on the show more uh, if you're down. We'd love to have you because you're here. I, I, I have a lot to talk to with this guy. I, Good. I, yeah, we, yeah, we can fill up a whole conversation. Then, then uh, folks anyway, back home, guy. they don't need to ask. They don't need to ask when the next Shad episode is coming out. They just need to know there's going to be plenty more. Corey's playing us out right now. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you. Good Enjoy the podcast. Uh, and what's your name? Plug your Twitter. What's your Twitter, Shad? What's your website? Plug it, hurry. Oh, it's just shadbase.com. Show your mom, please. All right. There you go. Shadbase.com. Okay, let's give you. Let's give these guys a Let's give you guys. Twitter. Hey, let's do a big fuck you on three. Three, two, one. Fuck, fuck you! you!